We're at Highview's liquid air energy storage facility near Bury in the north of England. As a business, we started this about 10 years ago, essentially taking it from a concept all the way through to the pilot plants, which has been in operation for four years, and what you see here today, which is the, the, the first grid scale reference plant. And beyond that, some scaling the technology up to, to a really usable, large scale, long duration energy storage device. We're storing the energy in the form of liquid air, put in low pressure tanks. We then pump that to a high pressure. We then introduce some heat. That helps us to phase change the liquid back into a gas. The more energy we can add into it at this stage, the more energy we can get out of it as it's expanded through our expansion turbine, which in turn drives the generator and puts electricity back onto the grid. This is a demonstration to the world, really, but based here in the UK, and it's to demonstrate the technology at grid scale. Grid scale storage is about balancing the network in, in most applications. Another key benefit would be to be able to have unmanned sites distributed around the network. So it's very important to have control of that and have sight of that from a central remote location that then controls the subsystems that are integrated on site. Our first choice was optimal. They've got a strong track record in this sort of integration. So the supply chain is really key in getting this technology out to the world. There's no argument there is a need for energy storage. The people building liquid air energy storage plants and buying liquid air energy storage plants as we go forward, they will rely on companies such as Optimel. To be here today and see the sort of the fruits of the labour for 10 years and actually see the world's first, the only grid scale liquid air system about to be turned on and connected to the UK grid is, is very, very exciting, yes.